Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new. If you're new, it means so much if you guys hit the subscribe button. I do post every single Tuesday and Thursday, but today, not gonna lie, my house is super messy and I really wanted to do a clean with me, so I thought, why not film one? It's been a little bit. I purchased more furniture in my house, so you guys can kinda see the little decor pieces that I picked up. And also in this video, I wanted to do a quick little affordable, cheap, budget-friendly Ikea haul. I did go to Ikea over on the weekend with my fiance. I've never been to Ikea since I moved into this house because of all the lockdown, so it was my first time going and I picked up a few goodies that are super affordable. There's a few pieces, I believe, from Ikea that we will eventually get, but we're just gonna order them to our house. But we picked up more like little pieces, little decor pieces. So I'm gonna start first with that before we go ahead and start the cleaning because let me just show you it's a hot mess express in here today this part is just super messy and needs to be cleaned the countertops are not looking cute at all they are a hot mess and need a wipe down and over here we literally have a drying rack of all my clothes and I need to still put away my closet the floors are also not looking that great. Hopefully I can clean a lot in the house today. And if you want extra content for me, extra personal content, then join my Patreon. I will be posting an extra two to three videos over on my Patreon. I'll have all the information down below. I would love for you guys to join my family. I already uploaded um, story times and I'm also going to be uploading something really personal when it comes to my wedding. I have something I wanna share with you guys over on there that I can't share on my YouTube right now. So make sure you guys do go and subscribe and join my Patreon family. The link will be in the description box. And with that being said, let's get into the Ikea haul now. I went ahead and just got everything and laid everything out. So I'm just gonna share with you guys what I picked from Ikea over on the weekend. You guys are looking for a little decor or just little pieces from Ikea. So the first thing which I've seen these literally everywhere and I picked up a bunch of these are just these little glass containers with the little cork lids. I think this is so adorable for when you have people over, you can fill this up with juices or you can fill it up with even water and just have it laid out in your table. And I just love the way it looks. It's so aesthetic. These are gonna be really great for little get togethers. So I literally picked up a bunch of them. I ended up picking up four of these and they were super, super cheap. They were only $2.99 each, which I thought was such a steal. And that is in Canadian dollars. If you guys are wondering, I know a lot of my audience is from the United States. So it's gonna be even cheaper in American dollars, but it is $2.99 in Canadian dollars and I'm in love. I've been loving things with the cork lids for some reason. It's just such a vibe. And that leads me to the second thing I picked up. I just picked up a vase, a vase, however you pronounce that. It's just this really simple one. It is just white. They always get me with the way that they display everything out. And I just really liked how it looked out in the stores. They have some really great ones there that are super affordable. This one was only in $12.99. And like I said, all my prices are going to be in Canadian dollars. So it will be different if you are from obviously somewhere else. It's like a ceramic vase. And I'm excited to use this as like, just like a decor piece. Next item I picked up really excites the adult in me. And it is just this strainer. I absolutely love this. I was actually about to buy one of these from CB2. That's where I first saw it. And this one is like less than half the price of that one. And when I saw it at Ikea, I literally was so excited because I, like I said, I was gonna order it off CB2 eventually, but it's super cool. I will share with you guys maybe a clip of it over on there. You can lay it out on your sink and you can pull out the handles to fit your sink accordingly. And it's just super convenient. I've already used this. I know that I'm gonna get so much use out of this. It was only, I believe, I think it was $12.99 as well. I'm not sure, but I know it's not more than $12. Such a cool kitchen gadget and I totally 
recommend picking one up. So I went ahead and picked up two more things. One is just a little like furniture piece that was super affordable. And I saw it when I was at the checkout line. It was like right before the checkout line and I needed it once I saw it, which I'll share with you guys that in just a second. And then I also have one little decor piece, just a small vase, which I didn't have here because I want to show you guys how I'm decorating it because it's literally so small. So you guys will see that. That concludes my haul, of course, after those two pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and just share with you guys the furniture piece and the little decor piece that I have actually in my bathroom. Let me show you this piece that I'm obsessed with that was only $39.99. This is the piece that I picked up. It is just like kind of a black steel metal. It said like black brown on the back box, which I would consider this black. I don't see any brown at all. And it just has this glass tabletop, which I think matches perfectly with all my decor in my house and in my family room. I like to use these types of tables in a sectional couch. This, as you guys can clearly see, because it's a mess is usually where I'm laying. So I'll usually place the table here when I'm just laying here watching TV so I can keep my water or any food that I have or whatever the case may be. I was shocked by the price because I've bought one of these before and I've seen these so many times and have looked at them and they are at least double the price if not triple. This is the one I used to have in the family room but this really came from my old bedroom back at home and it wasn't really meant to be for my family room. We were just using it now for convenience because to be honest, I just think it doesn't work. It just looks a little too tacky downstairs. I'll probably just keep this now in my office for extra like table space when I wanna put maybe my laptop on there when I'm on the desktop. This was double the price of the Ikea one. So if you're looking for these type of tables, Go to Ikea if you want a more affordable option. This is what the table typically looks like when I'm actually using it. And then when I'm not using the table, like once I'm done, I'll just put this table over next to the couch there and just bring it out whenever I need it. Eventually, I am looking for another like table here, maybe like a rectangular one, not like that one, like an actual side table because I definitely want one more for this side of the couch. Going into the bathroom now. Um, whoop. Hello. Hi there. So, over on here, I never showed this before, but I bought this like hexagon shelf. I actually picked this up from HomeSense, and I've been trying to find decor pieces for it. And this is the piece I ended up finding and picked up from Ikea. It's just like a white little glass vase and it was $1.99. So I thought it went perfectly on the shelf. I still want to find something that will go over on here, but it's finally getting full. It's taken me a little bit of time to find all these decor pieces. I just, if you guys are wondering, I just have like a little diffuser that I picked that up from HomeSense. I got a little faux plant. This is a little container and then I have a candle, but I'm just going to, hopefully I'll find something soon, but I still haven't been able to find anything for that. But there were cute little pieces at Ikea. They have really cute faux plant stuff too at Ikea that I was looking at. But for now, I just picked up the little white vase. It's starting to come together and finally look more complete. Like I said, those are kind of the pieces I picked up from Ikea. I will be sharing maybe more updates on my house and like things and decor pieces I pick up more often on my Patreon. So like I said, I will have my Patreon link down below if you guys do want extra videos and extra content and just a place to chit chat with me and be more personal. I will have that down below. Now that we did the little quick haul, I wanna go ahead and start the cleaning. This just stresses me out looking at it. I feel so much better and less stressed when I have a clean space. I always like to start with this side of the kitchen first. So if I have to, I'll put things on the island and then leave the island till last. So I'm going to start putting away dishes, cleaning any dishes I need and recycle all that junk and then just do a quick wipe down.
have a bunch of these containers, food containers, and whenever washing them, I always make sure to wash them by taking out the plastic because if you just wash it without taking this rubber part out, there's gonna be a lot of food that builds up and gets stuck. Your containers aren't gonna be really clean and it can get really gross and nasty. So just a little tip, once I go and put away the dishes, I have to go ahead and clean the sink because you guys might not know or you may know by now, I can't stand like food in the sink. It just grosses me out. I don't know what it is, but I get really grossed out by like food and sinks and stuff and I like it cleaned right away. Now moving on to the sink, my least favorite thing to clean, but I'm gonna just go ahead with some bleach and I'm just gonna clean it with this. I also have a little sponge I'm gonna use to clean as well. I'm gonna go ahead and empty any leftover food. Let this sit for a little and then I'm going to go ahead and clean it. complete it is so much cleaner and it even has a nice little shine so now that i am done the sink i'm going to move on to cleaning the countertops on all of this side so all the little things that i have i'm going to go ahead and put them on the island and that's why at the end i'm going to do the island because i always like to put all my stuff from here on the island when i am cleaning Before I put everything back to you, I'm gonna go ahead and probably wipe down some of the items as well if they're just dusty or dirty so that they're all clean once they go on the countertop. As always, I just use a multi-surface cleaner. I got this from HomeSense. It's a more natural one and I always use my microfiber cloths to clean around the house. Now I'm gonna move on to the island. I have been using my Wayman stainless steel for all my stainless steel appliances. This one's actually almost empty. That's why I have my replacement here. I just order these off Amazon. I will link down below anything that I can. And I also have a link to a cash back site if you guys wanna make money back when you order online. But this is what I ended up using for my cooktop over on here. I always like to use this. And after I finish 
finish the island, I'm probably going to move on to cleaning and wiping down the fridge and the oven and microwave. That is all for the clean with me. I was gonna do my upstairs, but honestly, it's so many hours later, my battery is dying, I'm starting to low key get so tired, and I still haven't eaten lunch, so I think I'm gonna make this into a two-parter. So tomorrow, actually, I'm gonna do the upstairs and just clean my bedroom, my closet, and my bathroom, so stay tuned for that. But for now, I just did most of the downstairs, honestly, I didn't even clean everything I wanted to, but your girl's tired, not gonna lie. If you guys like my cleaning videos, thumbs it up. I hope you guys enjoyed and liked all the little decor. I will try to link anything I can down below, especially the pieces I talk about from Ikea. Don't forget to subscribe. I do post every single Tuesday and Thursday, and I also do post two to three more videos over on my Patreon every single month. So if you guys wanna join for more content, I will have that as the first link down below. Thank you guys to anyone who supports me over on there as well, but I love you guys so so much and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye